Here is the statement concerning Brother George Jackson, concerning the situation at San Quentin Prison. Uh, what happened yesterday? From the Intercommunal News Service of the Black Panther Party, the servant of the people, Huey P. Newton states that Our position is in support of the action of George Jackson. The first rule when a people's soldier is captured is to immediately start planning his escape. Immediately start planning his escape. His action was a political statement because he set the standard for all political prisoners. He took the only available avenue of redress against state murder. The state created the violent situation that exists in San Quentin today. The state gives itself the arbitrary privilege of taking life, the right to kill, capital punishment, sanctioned violence, sanctioned violence, which leaves no room for redress. Redress of grievance is the contract between the people and the state in relationship, in relationship to the laws of the land. People will, re will respect laws that serve them and will, will tolerate those that they do not respect as long as there is an avenue for redress and change. Voting and petitioning and other actions are redress vehicles. But when capital punishment is legislated, the neutral relationship regarding life between the people and the state breaks down. The person being threatened with death by the state has no alternatives but to defend itself. All living things have an inalienable right to protect their own lives. Their own lives, all inalienable rights must be protected. But to con continue correctly with the uh, servant's statement, we state this, the minister, the servant has stated this. If the state decides it can take life, then the people can defend life. The basic integrity of man is predicated upon respect for life. The state does not have the right to take life. Every man has a right to preserve his own life. The state is supposed to represent the basic integrity of the individual. We should all hold life sacred. And no one, including the state, should have the right, right to snuff out life. No one, including the state, should have the right to snuff out life. Only through natural forces and acts of God should man give life up. And science through its research and production of medicines, is trying to combat the thing we call death. There is no capital punishment, or might I say, if there is no capital punishment, to be correct, on the intercommunal level.
this would stop all wars of aggression. If there is no capital punishment on the incremental level, this would stop all wars of aggression because the only time one could take life is in the defense of life, never in a retaliatory posture, that is, against individuals. But to continue with the servant's statement and to sum it up, George Jackson, Field Marshal for the Black Panther Party. Let me repeat, George Jackson, Field Marshal for the Black Panther Party. A soldier in the People's Army gave his life in an attempt to free political prisoners and to preserve his own dignity and manhood. Field Marshal George Jackson moved in a defensive manner. The state had threatened to take Brother George's life. The executioner already had a hood over his head. A glass cage had been built and euphemistically called a courtroom. The shackles were locked. George broke the shackles, spurned the glass cage, and defended his manhood in the spirit of freedom. Brothers and sisters, people, everyone, community, black community, everyone interconnected, interlocked, interrelated, from the black community to everywhere in the world. The minister said this in his last paragraph and I read, George Jackson was a supreme servant of the people because he gave his life all that any human being can give when struggling for all oppressed people. Now this statement was signed by Huey P. Newton, servant of the people from the Black Panther Party.